Welcome to FAL Academy. I'm happy to announce that WAN 2.5 is now available on FAL. For the first time ever, WAN videos come to life with native audio generation. Part 1. Key Model Details Firstly, WAN 2.5 supports text-to-video, where the main input is a text prompt, which is used to guide the model's output. The supported aspect ratios are 16 by 9, which is great for cinematic videos, 9 by 16 for shorts and reels, and 1 by 1 square videos, which are versatile across different platforms. WAN 2.5 also supports image to video, where the main inputs are a text prompt and an image. This image will be the start frame of the output video, and with these two inputs together, you have much higher controllability of your scene. For both text and image to video, WAN 2.5 also supports another form of input and that's an audio file. For the example you just saw, I used WAN 2.5 image to video with a simple prompt, the man speaks towards the camera, a start frame, which is the image of that man, and then the audio recording in order to get the final result. We can also do this for text to video with a prompt and an audio file input, but again, the controllability is a bit poorer than with image to video. The third supported format for WAN 2.5 is text to image. In this case, the main input is a text prompt and the output is an image. Finally, there is also support for image to image. The main inputs here are a text prompt and an image, and essentially the text prompt is describing the edit you would like to make of that image. So here is an example where we turn this samurai scene from a dawn scene into a lightning storm scene. Part 2. Key Model Strengths The most striking improvement over WAN 2.2 is the support for native audio generation. But there are also improvements in other areas. I've broken these down into four main categories with examples for each. The first is its capability for dialogues. In this example, set in this coffee shop interior, we specified directly in the prompt that we'd like the woman to say, hi, I'll have a cappuccino, please, with the barista then nodding and saying, of course, that'll be $5. Hi, I'll have a cappuccino, please. Of course, that'll be $5. WAN 2.5 also excels at background audio. In this example, we've specified directly in the prompt all sorts of ambient noises, like birds chirping, children playing, leaves rustling, dogs barking, and this is the resulting video. The third key improvement is in prompt adherence. You can see in this example that the prompt is quite complicated. We include things like, it should be a tracking shot of the F1 car in the Monaco Grand Prix with the camera fixed to the side. We've included descriptions of the reflections and the sound of the F1 engine. And this is the resulting video. WAN 2.5 also offers enhanced style adaptation. We can see in this example that even a style as niche as a anime cyberpunk aesthetic is handled very well. We've also released a blog post on WAN 2.5. This covers many of the videos we've already seen in more detail, and towards the end we even have a prompt guide which gives very specific instructions in how exactly to prompt the model to get the best possible result. I will include this and any other pages I visit in the comments. Part 3. Using WAN 2.5 on FAL we are now over on FAL's website on the WAN 2.5 text-to-video playground page, and I'll walk you through this now. So as I mentioned, for text-to-video, the main input is a prompt, which is entered here. There is also an optional audio URL you can include. You can either drag and drop an audio file or include a URL. Now, there are also some additional settings. So as I mentioned before, the aspect ratios are any of these three, and the resolution is either 480p, which costs 5 cents per second, 720p, which is 10 cents per second, or 1080p, which is 15 cents per second of video. The video Video durations can be either 5 or 10 seconds long. The negative prompt is where we put ideas that we would not like in the video. So I'll give an example now. I'm going to use this as the prompt. I'll say a lone figure stands on an arctic ridge as the camera pulls back to reveal the northern lights dancing across the sky above jagged icebergs. And then because, for example, I don't want this to be a cartoon, I would rather this was a very realistic video so I can put something like a cartoon animated in the negative prompt, because this is what I do not want in the video. If you toggle this prompt expansion on, then it will use an LLM to improve your prompt, so we will keep that in. For the seed, we'll keep it random. Just to explain briefly what this does, if we have the same seed and the exact same set of inputs, then we will get the exact same video output. But I'd like to experiment a bit, so I will leave this random. So now I'll close these additional settings, and I will run this. So here's the result we get. I will turn the audio on, I will full screen, and then we can play. Awesome. So now to download this, I'll just click here and download. 
Now we're over at the WAN 2.5 image to video playground page and everything else is the exact same as I just described for text to video, except this time we can also include an image URL. So let's go through the example that I showed earlier in the video. So for the image URL, I will choose the start frame of this man. And then for the prompt, I will just keep it simple and I'll say the man speaks towards the camera. Now I've noticed that if you have an audio URL, you don't need to make the prompt very complicated. So that's all we need for now. And then for the audio URL, I will choose the audio of me speaking. And because the audio of me speaking is just over six seconds, we'll need to make the video about 10 seconds to capture all of it. We'll leave the negative prompt as it is, and then all the other settings as well, and then we can run this. Okay, now let's have a look at the result. For both text and image to video, WAN 2.5 also supports another form of input, and that's an audio file. Now we're over at the WAN 2.5 text to image playground page, and I'll walk you through this as well. So for the prompt, very similar to before, except this time it's for a text to image prompt. And as for the additional settings, the negative prompt is also very similar. We will just put ideas here that we wouldn't want to see in the final output image. For the number of images, I would recommend putting this up to four, and that's because it will increase the chance of having one great generation. For the image size, you can choose any of these options or your own custom one. I'll put it at landscape 16 by nine. Then the prompt expansion in the seed of very similar to before as well. So I will choose this prompt here and we can actually drag down here just so we can see all of it. And I've said a towering armored knight standing at the heart of an ancient forest surrounded by colossal trees draped in moss. Beams of sunlight pierce through the dense canopy, illuminating motes of dust and pollen in the air. The knight's polished armor reflects the greenery while the hand rests calmly on the hilt of a great sword. The style is atmospheric, painterly yet cinematic with deep greens, shafts of light and mystical ambience. So let's run this. So here are the four image results, and then we can just click into the first one and have a look. We can also go through them like this. And I think that this one is probably my favorite, so I can just download. Finally, we've arrived at the WAN 2.5 image to image playground page. Now for image to image, you can just think of it as an AI image edit. So for the image, let's have the photo of the man from before, and then let's have this prompt. So I've said, transform the man into a wizard in an alchemical lab. His t-shirt becomes dark rune embroidered robes, his face lit by candlelight and glowing symbols. Behind him are shelves of potions, crystals, and ancient tomes with bubbling vials casting colorful light. The scene is mystical, moody, and cinematic. For the additional settings, it's the exact same as text to image, and we will leave them as they are for now and we can just run this. So here's the result and it's done exactly what I asked it to do. Now just as one final thing for both text to image and image to image the price is only five cents per image. Now, sometimes the hardest part about getting a good video output can be getting a good video prompt. And that's why this Valley slash video prompt generator page is very useful. We can go from a very simple input concept, which doesn't have to be any more than a few words. So for example, we can say a beautiful mountain village, and then there's a bunch of additional settings if you wanna be very precise. So I'll keep the style simple, and I think I'll just change the pacing to a slow burn. And then we can just run this, and within less than a second, we should get a great video prompt that we can copy and use directly in the playground. Finally, for all of Fowl's endpoints, including the video prompt generator that we just saw, you can go from the playground page to the API page. And if you're a developer, there are very detailed steps here on how to integrate these models into your own platform. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This was only the second in the Fowl Academy series with many more on the way. Please leave any video ideas or questions you might have in the comments. And don't forget to check the comments for the important links. For now, I'll catch you in the next one.